Today we will be learning about skills and principles of nursery production. To have a nursery, you first need to obtain plants to go in it. The first step to any type of plant nursery is creating a growing schedule for your plants. Find the frost date and mark it on your schedule. All your growing needs to be done by this point. Then check how long it takes for your plant to grow. Using these times, you should be able to create a schedule for when to plant everything. For example, if the frost date is December 31st and the basil takes about six weeks to grow, you need to plant the basil by November 18th by the latest. Now that you know when to plant the plant, you need to know how. We can do this through plant propagation or the process of creating new plants from a variety of sources. These sources fall into two categories, sexual and asexual. The main process that happens sexually is germinating seeds. You can germinate a seed by making a nursery chart, but you already know that, get the correct medium, bury the seed in the medium, make sure it has access to what it needs, water, sunlight, space, carbon dioxide, etc., and provide with nutrients after a few weeks. There are also ways for plants to reproduce asexually. Three of the main ways include division, breaking off clumps of plants to form new ones. You don't actually have to plant a seed, you're just splitting the plant to make a copy. Layering, rooting a piece of the plant, parent plant without severing it. This one involves burying a piece of the still connected stem into the ground so it can take root. Cuttings, rooting a piece of the parent plant after severing it. You might cut off a leaf, tip, stem, or root and plant it. Once you have planted your plant, there are many things it needs to survive. These include water. Plants use the water to carry nutrients back and forth between the roots and the leaves. Nutrients. These are necessary for a plant to grow. Carbon dioxide. Dirty air from smoke, gases, and more can stunt growth because the plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Light. Light is also an important part of photosynthesis. Time. Plants cannot grow overnight. They need time to grow, and there is nothing that can rush the process along. Space. Plants need a certain area to grow, and if the container is too small, the plant might not reach its full size. Medium. This is closely linked with space, because plants need a medium to grow in. When you plant your nursery, it is important to have the right medium. Some mediums include compost. This is decomposed matter. Hummus. This is compost in its stable form. Peat moss. This is the decayed remains of a material har harvested from bogs. Perlite. This is often from puffed volcanic glass. Sand. This is often added to mediums to provide better drainage and structure. Often companies add nutrients and other things beneficial to plants, so that will save you the time of having to add these things yourself. But if you do need to add your own nutrients, it is important to know what they are. The three main nutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. The three intermediate nutrients are sulfur, magnesium, and calcium. The six micronutrients are iron, boron, manganese, zinc, molybdenum, and copper. These are required in very small quantities. Plants also require water, and irrigation systems are how large farms grow water crops. Irrigation is the supply of water to land or crops that help growth, typically by means of channels. There are four main methods of irrigation. Surface irrigation consists of water distributed using gravity. This works best with flat land slopes. Sprinkler irrigation consists of water being sprayed like rain drops. This can be permanent, portable, or a system of pipes. Drip or trickle irrigation consists of water being applied onto the soil using streams or drops. Subsurface irrigation consists of water being applied below the surface to the soil. How far below it is depends on how deep the roots are. Even after equipping your nursery with everything a plant might need to survive, there is still the need to prevent pests. Instead of using pesticides, there is a new and more effective strategy that is designed to yield long-term results. This new strategy is called IPM, or Integrated Pest Management. The idea is taking away the things a pest needs to thrive. 
This system uses many techniques including biological control, using natural enemies of the pest such as predators, parasites, pathogens, and competitors. Habitat manipulation. This includes killing the pest directly, blocking the pest out, or making the environment unfit for them. Modification of cultural practices. Reduce reproduction, dispersal, and survival. Pesticides. This is the last resort and to be combined with the others. Ducks are one example of a biological control. These ducks go into the vineyards and they eat the pests and no pesticides are needed. You most likely know the common name of your plant. The common name is what you might call your plant when you talk about it with your friends. It may surprise you that scientific names are very different. Scientific names follow a specific set of rules. Scientists use a two-name system that describes the genus and species of an organism. A species is a group of common organisms that share common characteristics and are capable of interbreeding. The genus is a broad category that can incorporate multiple species that are structurally related. Here are some examples of common fruits and vegetables that have very different scientific names. Common name, orange. Scientific name, Citrus senecius. Common name, Lemon. Scientific name, Citrus Lemon. Common name, Onion. Scientific name, Allium Sepa. Biotechnology is a great way to expand your nursery. Biotechnology has impacted plant reproduction in many ways. More crops can be planted per acre, plants can better defend themselves against diseases, money is saved, and pesticides can be reduced. Using all you have learned, you should be set to start on your own nursery. Don't forget to click that like button. See you in the next video.